What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the series. This is game number one, the Texas A&M Aggie Dynasty. Here in NCAA football, all the way on the PlayStation Two. We are taking on Montana State, who does not have a very good team, obviously. And here's the opening kickoff of the series. Goes to halfback number 23, and he is brought down just across the 20-yard line. Would result in a punt. We would take the ball, play fake, sacked at the one-yard line. And this was uh, kind of supposed to be a warm-up game. And then Mike Goodson is going to take it across midfield, down inside the 20. Tried to celebrate. We won't talk about it. Still got the touchdown, though. 99-yard touchdown run by Mike Goodson. So that's an NCAA record. So Montana State would get the ball back, have to punt the ball again. Kick to Mike Goodson, who slips out of a tackle, jukes inside a man, makes him miss on the dive, and is then subsequently tackled. Stephen McGee throwing the ball deep, and it's knocked away from Kerry Franks there. Then he drops back, tries to hit Morrow on the drag route, and he is sacked around midfield. We've allowed two sacks on as many possessions against whatever. I'm not sure what they're called. Division two, F FCS. I don't know what they were called back in this time. Anyway, uh, not a good football team. Mike Goodson again with the punt spin move. He hits the sideline across the 40 and he's going to take this one all the way and he now has a rushing touchdown a receiving touchdown and a punt return touchdown in the first half of the first game of the year Mike Goodson gets to the outside he's going to get the first down and get near midfield the 48 yard line the play fake the deep throw to Franks who catches it down inside the 15 yard line McGee runs out, gets it to Perry, who's going to go out around the two-yard line, nearly getting a touchdown there. It's now first and goal with the ball at the two-yard line. And we're going to hand the ball off. He tries to cut back up the middle, does Goodson, who gets tackled at the line of scrimmage. Second and goal from the two-yard line, up the middle, and still can't get in. Tackled at the one, and then walks in on try number three. Stephen McGee comes out. He's going to hit Morrow across the middle. He's going to bring us down inside the 30. Play fake to Goodson. Toss to Goodson. And then Goodson's going to get us to about the 22-yard line. Five consecutive completions for Stephen McGee. And he is sacked again. So we've allowed three sacks in the first half to a essentially non-existent football team and then the deep ball is thrown to Martellus Bennett who catches it in the end zone and I find it strange that Martellus Bennett and Mike Goodson are both allowed to be number three strange Goodson fields this punt here and he's gonna run this one back as well and I believe that gives him yeah five total touchdowns on the game 119 rushing 55 receiving 133 Return for 307, I believe it said. Total yards. Now to open the second half, first kickoff to Mike Goodson. Makes a man miss. Gets the spin move. Pretty good return there, but it's all for naught. As we get a clipping penalty, and we will start from our own 17-yard line. Let's see if we give the handoff to Mike Goodson, who takes it to the outside and is lit up like a Christmas tree by the safety. Nine attempts for 130 yards and two touchdowns. Get the ball out to Martellus Bennett, who looks like Andre the Giant standing next to Rey Mysterio or something with those guys chasing him. And that's going to be Martellus Bennett's second touchdown of the game. Stephen McGee drops back, throws it deep for Bennett again, who catches it but can't get away. He's down around the 16. Fake handoff there, try to keep the QB keeper there, and McGee gets hit hard. Another loss for McGee. We hit Martellus Bennett again. 
around the 11 or 12 or so yard line completion up to nine in a row and then Goodson gets us up to around the two yard line two or three yard line there 345 total yards with five total touchdowns and then he can't get in here and the handoff he doesn't get in here and so then I remembered, oh yeah, we have another running back that was actually supposed to be the starter in the first place. It's an impact player and is also a power back. So maybe we give him the ball. And on the second attempt there on fourth down, he powers his way into the end zone. We lead 56 nothing with just over two minutes to go in the third quarter. And they called that a fumble, although it kind of looked like an incomplete pass. But tuck rule, schmuck rule. And then we ran the ball a few times trying to kill the clock. Couldn't get a first down out of it, so we wound up settling for the field goal there. 59 nothing. Last play of the third quarter. And QB number 14 throws the ball to Brown. Around the 35-yard line, we will take over in the fourth quarter. And then Javorski Lane gets his second touchdown of the game. Kickoff here to halfback number 34. Who fumbles around the 20-yard line and is picked up by Toop or Toopy or Tope or something. Anyway, three turnovers there. Now a minute 36 left. Javorski Lane is in the game, and he breaks loose again. That'll be his third rushing touchdown of the game as we're trying to milk the clock here. And then another punt here to Mike Goodson. Just 15 seconds on the clock. He's going to hit the sideline, and he's going to get his third punt return touchdown. Sixth total touchdown of the game, I do believe. Yes, with 436 total yards, 223 being return yards. That will be the game, 80 to nothing for the A&M Aggies. And all the gameplay won't be this one-sided, but this was, like I say, a warm-up game. I thought, I really didn't think it was going to be that bad, but I guess I should have expected it to be that bad. I didn't really know how bad I was going to be at this game, though, so... It is what it is. Mike Goodson obviously went off, and that's going to be game one. We'll be coming back with the next game soon. First game of Madden that goes along with this should have already dropped, and game number two of it will be coming as well. And I'm just going to cycle through the stats, call it a day, and uh, y'all do it to it.